game. Ten summers. What's that on that beat? Yeah. Daily routine going re up. Fully loaded magazine when you see us. It's a full time job just to stay on point. Highlighter don't know how to roll a joint. <laughs> I'm learning. Jair's giving me classes. Learning Actually, how, I should teaching me how to roll a tight one. I should have said Jair. I should have said Jair. Yeah. Yeah. Little, little scampers. Little scampers. No scamper. Trap pod. Pod. Still going. Look at that. Episode 62. And Jair said he's sure he fact checked that. So, you know what I mean? 62 it seems 62. off. But at the same time, I'm not here all the time. Six so. deuce. Six deuce. You know what I'm saying? Me, We're almost there. We're almost there. Did you guys prefer a 64 Impala or a 6 tray Impala? 64, uh, 64 is the played out one. Yeah, I was going to say I would six trays six because if I feel like it's more rare, less talked about. But it still has the beauty in it. Anyways, nah. this is the Trap Pod. I am Mucho Queso. Thank you much, Mucho Muchos, for tuning in again. We have HL back in the house. Yeah, Trap Pod on the score. we have, you know, the brains behind everything. Mr. Jair, Jay Gales, once Jay again Gales. over here. But he that. said he's not going to talk today. He said he's just going to be on I'm the board. I'm just boards. rolling. Let's just hope he hits record. His creativity makes up for his looks. <laughs> Yeah, let's just hope he hits record this time. Yeah, I fucked up again, time. guys. Hey, at least you only, at least you realized hey, players they fuck fucking, up, dog. Yeah, players fuck up. You know at, what I'm saying? Look, at least you realized it when we're only like 20 minutes in. What I wanted to say is welcome back. At least. Finally, a group here. All together, we make up the trap pod. Um, yes, how's everybody yes, doing? Sir. Last week was Father's Day. Um, yeah, happy know, Father's Day, by thank, the way. I was waiting for that. Happy, <laughs> happy fucking Father's Day. I'm the only father here. I mean... The I only, know you guys are probably. Sucker, I mean, brother, here. I'm, I'm sure you guys a, have, have uh, visited an abortion clinic once or twice in your time. So I actually, you know I have mean? not. <laughs> no, no, nope. I, I, there's one in Vermont. I went. Never mind. I ain't going well, to get into I've gone. <laughs> I've gone. The one right there. But on, Shout out, Julie. No, but not. I, I, look, I've gone, but not for me. I've gone to a company. What? <laughs> of course, not for you. You know what I mean? Well, oh. like, it wasn't my baby. You know what I'm saying? I just wasn't like. That's what we all say. But we paid for it. Yeah, hey, oh, hey, hell, it nah. wasn't mine. But hey, guess hey, what? You need that four fifty. At the time when we were younger, I've heard about this motherfuckers paying for abortions. You're the biggest, dumbest fucking sucker in your motherfucking life when you can get it for fucking free. How much? How much was? Did you pay for the abortion? I didn't pay no nothing for no abortion because it wasn't my kid. Second of all, I think I got bamboozled, dog. Hey, look, you just took me look, for four seventy five. Hey, you get that green card? Story? You get that little green card? No, 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 no. And I'm yeah, not talking no, about no, the one you have right no, now. You want to hear it? Look, I'm not talking. Look, I'm not talking about the green card you have. I'm talking about the green card the LAUSD gives you. If you have that, abortions and condoms like that shit are, are free, basically. Are you kidding me, dude? And she you probably paid for had it. it, and yeah, I gave her four seventy, and I gave her the. She wrong. kept it. She Hold kept on. it. Hold on, but and got I'm, it through school. What I'm saying free. is, but what I'm she saying is baby. like the, no, the money. Hey, but sucker. I'm saying like you can't say he's a sucker. sucker. Like he just didn't know. Like at that, if you're younger at that, like how do you, you not know? There's a whole. I didn't know that. There's a whole class call sex education yeah. that tells you about this shit how do you not know i thought that you was a fucking class that retard attention to oh any of my classes. god and yeah that's why you got a motherfucker got suckered out of a couple the, hundred the only dude that was paying attention no, was did. the one dude that one didn't get his willy wet like the, the fucking <laughs> highlighters like oh my god in case hey, i do yeah no, in you case because i was a little horn bag i'm gonna tell you a story so i now. made sure i i, I you know Quit putting i knew out. my sources I'm putting it out dog that's it chill chill don't yell at me Anyways, Come on, that party full. You, you guys are getting too lost here. Anyways, fucking roll it. Chill fat ass. Chill fat ass. So you were telling me uh, it was your dad's birthday, also, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, actually, I, it's good because I actually had the weekend off. So and was, what I say by that, obviously, I, I don't work the weekends, but sometimes I do on the streets at night. But we're not talking about that. Eighties <laughs> of the nights. But uh, my dad is actually June nineteenth, which is close to Father's Day a lot of the time. So uh father's day he was working at his on his home and um his birthday he actually went to palmdale to go see my little nephew so he was like leave me alone let me have my fun yeah so it was cool i was smart i wasn't complaining man. i chilled nah. yes yeah smart for him and i was telling i was telling my my son the same exact thing you know what i mean like i i appreciate you and everything but i was like on father's day it's crazy how a father has to do whatever you know the family plans for it's him. pre fucking meditating like for fuck you. that like, like shoot me some honey let me send me to sam's and let me just see shoot ass all day yeah and that would be it you know yeah, I, mean? hey, I hear the girls at sam's are bad i've never been but i hear the girls at sam's are bad. oh i have the saddest thing to announce i drove by seven five and the sign was down <gasps> they took take the sign back. down take it back friend yeah they took it down oh, for real? Dog. yeah no for real i'm not lying i mean we'll go check today after, <laughs> after if you want how was your father's day by the way it was great. Thank you very much. Um, I was telling Jairo. Oh, actually, Jairo kicked it a little bit. Uh, got yeah, go skate. through your weekend. You know? Just did a little skating with all the boys. Shout out to Terrell. Terrell was out Terrell skating with us. Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens. 
Um, the lemon, Josh, Josh. No, just Josh. One. Not the lemons. Lemon the and lemon. Uh, some of uh, Drew's homies. We we went out, skated, did our thing, and then uh, he took me out to a nice. When it's dinner. one of them, it's lime. I went check this place Where out. Where did he take you? Where was that at? Dude, that place is that looked bomb. Ooh, child. Yeah, it's called Meat on Ocean. Okay, no joke. But uh, pretty much they have like Meet my ocean. Uh, huh. age, age like steaks and all that. It's a steakhouse pretty much. It's right nice. on Ocean, right by the pier. Meet uh, my meat. Right in Santa hey, Monica. So. It's right now. You, let, you better have some cheddar, let me tell you. You, you do. Let's go. I, I don't anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Not after that date. Not after that date, let me tell you. So... <laughs> you see the, the way my bank account works. The reason, the reason why the I kind of wanted to bring this up is because... Um, why, Franny? We were out and about and there was a lot of people out. There was not a lot of masks going on. And I think we had gone out also on Saturday. We went to a bar and everything. But now I'm hearing about this resurgence yeah. in this Corona situation. Yeah, let's get, let's get into that subject. Speaking of fucking Corona. Th- well, the reason why real quick is I was trying to plan a trip to go out. Yeah. Right? I was trying to go to Vegas like in a week or two. And then, like I said, I saw this going on. So do you think like would you go out right now with this resurgence? Like what, what do you think is going on? Honestly, at this point, I don't. I don't know. There's days where I get tired of it and I just feel like I'm, I'm done. Like, I don't really care. I mean, I still do my I take my precautions. I wear my mask and everything, but I'm just over it. You know, I really don't care. And there's other days where I start hearing shit that are going on like right now. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like there's a reason why I'm doing this. And I don't know about you, but everybody that I it seemed like everybody that I knew was in Vegas this weekend. People was part And Vegas is a hotspot for that Rona. So obviously they're bringing it back here. You know, and and people are just you know going back and forth mixing shit or the protest, but the crazy the number protest, that came yeah. out today, and was obviously these numbers. When was the protest? The ma- the major protest was about two weeks ago, and, and when are these what? record high numbers are coming today. in today? And what are the numbers? Talk to talk about yeah, it. So, okay, so let's get into some yeah, let's get into some numbers. In LA County alone, let's let's, let's start off with uh, one thing. Basically, LA broke a, a one day record or a or a, or a record high yeah, today. Record we'll, high. we'll call it with over six thousand confirmed positive Corona cases in one day today. Six over. So 6, we'll say we'll, we'll say it was probably yesterday, and they broke the news today. So we'll say yesterday. Yesterday, at, just to be safe. And not only that, not new cases, but there's also been a spike in hospitalization. There, no, these are hospitalization numbers. Let me get that straight what? before you think about just cases. So that means the cases are even higher. These are hospitalization cases. And not only California, or excuse me, not only Los Angeles County, but seven states in general reported new highs, which include Arizona, Arkansas, California, North and South Carolina. For those of you that don't know, it's two different places, and Tennessee and Texas. Texas. Now, um, a lot of these places were the ones that opened up early. Exactly. Like, for example, Texas. Texas were the ones that opened up Florida. I didn't mention, but they're one of the oh. motherfuckers that be having spikes. And not, not, not only did they open up early, you see a lot of the residents pretty much not even Child taking the precautions. Tampa, peeps. You know, no way, not wearing Flo- any masks. I heard, not uh, just New out York there, not did a, a ban on people from coming from from Florida. Not ban, but they have to quarantine for. 14 yeah, they pretty days. much have to lock, start going back into a lockdown. And it's stupid because all of us as a whole, um, pretty much, the last three four months almost risked everything and just fucking didn't do shit and, and hated life just to blow it within two weeks, three weeks. Sounds about right. And it's I, like, I, I mean, not that it has to do with the protests. I understand it was for something you believe in. I get it. But there's a lot of motherfuckers, like I'm saying in Florida are not wearing masks. They're at the beaches, not social distancing, wearing, not wearing masks but, oh, over there, but rubbing on each like, other. But, so it's like, come but on, we dude. open up later or we're, we're still kind of in the emergency still opening up, True. but even like, and look when at what's happening. Like, Imagine when we're fully even here. That's what I'm saying. Like even like when we go to restaurants or something like that, there's like less people in it or even a gym. Right. You like I started going to the gym and then fucking now you have to schedule your time to go in there and you have an hour. You Everyone have an hour limit. An hour. But mm-hmm. I heard some other gyms are not even doing that. They just come in. They yes, just come yeah. in. But at the bar. Right. We're, we're, so that's what I'm saying. There's no I think the consistency. Girl, at the there's no consistency oh, yeah, the in this woman. shit. The woodman, they only ask you for There's a mask no to go in. And after you have the mask, like inside, no you one else. Out. I, think, I think the highlighter did a, a great point just earlier that we kind of went over on is, yeah, right now there's a lot of people going out. We're going to bars and we're seeing. But guess what? The biggest protests were two weeks ago, right? It wasn't open two weeks ago, but the people were out there and protesting about two weeks ago. And guess what? These uh, rubbing, numbers are rub, coming out. Rubbing and elbows when, and everything. That's, that's how long it other. takes is about two weeks. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't be surprised if the LAPD or, 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 or police department see a spike in coronavirus because there are a lot, of, a lot of close encounters with people, grappling with people, hit, obviously, Benin. And I'm putting your necks on, you know, on people's, you know. And Not then, only you know, that, so you're also, you're, when you're a you're cop, like you have close. to go back to the station. And when you're dealing with people, you're yelling. So you're consi- Not only when it's talking, you're spreading, but when you yell, it spreads even easier. 
Now, like talking about seed. spreading about spreading it, and like Boy, we were talking about spread them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people were high. Like, at, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were high during those protests. No, Speaking definitely. Me, but what, what a good point that what, that I saw was, let's say for example, spreading. Arizona opened up early, but yeah. they didn't limit uh, travel between California and Arizona. So you know, I mean, those people Cross were still contamination traveling. to the fucking fullest. And one of the biggest things I saw was Delta, for example. Exactly. A Delta Airlines had a huge yeah. spike, almost 500. 500 of, employees tested positive. And not only did 500 of their employees test positive, we had 10 confirmed corona-related deaths in Delta alone. So that's Ten not talking. deaths. We're not talking about the airline industry as a whole. We're talking about one company. It's a big boy, and it's one Delta. One airline. And it sucks because I, I, I'm a Delta fan, and when I like to fly, I like, <laughs> to, I like to go Delta. So that, that sucks that that shit happened there. You know what I mean? But, you know, and I, just think about it. And this is what I, and, and and this is where I pretty much was thinking. Not the numbers are misleading, and this is the reason why they're misleading. Think about it. There's basically a thirty to one, how many passengers or how many people are per airline flight attendant. Flight attendant. Yeah, exactly. like you were saying, at least a hundred to one. You know what I mean? Because there's, yeah, there's one flight attendant to, toward a hundred like passengers. Two, there's like one in the front, one in the back. So there's about two, and we'll say there's Whoa. about fifty people. That's an Eiffel Tower. There's about fifty <laughs> people um, that they have to attend each. And then they you know still I mean? have that many flights. Not only that, how many times do they fly? A couple flights. You know what I mean? At least six, seven flights within an eight-hour Okay, shift. how many employees were six? That's 500. So you got to think about it. There's 500 employees that are basically can, can contaminate basically 500 passengers. I mean, 50 passengers. Yeah, exactly. And those passengers are traveling to different areas. You know what I mean? So that's another thing on top of that. Like that's different area so you gotta code. you gotta times things. You know, so it's area basically you know thirty code. times five hundred, and on top of that, how many times does that the flight attendant fly from place to place, and then those people leave and they spread on and, and so on and so forth. That's so all crazy. Yeah, you're in a, you're in a, an encapsulated area. Like there's only only bad things is gonna result out of that. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. Crazy. So if you're flying Delta, beware. As a matter of fact, if you're flying period, beware because I don't know. Just like what we're talking about, there's no real regulation. There's no standard to wearing masks and stuff i hear there's some airlines that don't really that are pretty well, lax on air on once you're flying like oh you can take off hey, the mask kind of like you didn't, said about didn't the the, gov- the governor just say that even if you're outside we right now we have to wear the mask yeah so that's another thing that's it's it's interesting here yeah the but different governors in different yeah. um states have different regulations you know what i mean here in california you know they're, they're making it mandatory when you're outside mandatory or there'll be repercussions not only that there. though like i heard some governors getting crazy and like blaming certain race you know what i mean races yeah. for this <laughs> like the governor of uh, Florida. Republican. Yeah, yeah. So basically the governor of Florida, which his name is uh, Ron DeSantis. Ron so DeSantis. I'm, what do you think? He, Italian, maybe? He's, it sounds a little sounds Italian. Sounds a little Italian. So he, basically. Uh, Italian. Italian. Yeah. So Gelato. he's basically he, he's basically blaming the Hispanic community for the resurgence of Corona in Florida. And basically he's saying um, that core communities are basically packed together like sardines. And that's basically what he said, packed together like sardines. And I quote, so he's not only saying that not just a living, he wasn't even talking about the living aspect of things, but he's talking about the work lifestyle. Like, not you to know, be like, funny meat, though, like how many Mexicans pants? have you seen pa- packed in one car? Uh, yeah, I, yeah I right. Yeah, depends, I mean, on, yeah. depends on depends on depends on the size, on perro. If it's a regular small one, about eight. <laughs> so that's what he's talking about. Is is he talking hey, about like living beetle? situations? No, that's what I'm saying. Working? He's not talking about just living conditions. He's basically talking about work conditions. And when he says pack like sardines, he's basically talking about plants. You know, meat packaging plants and anything that has to do with you know where, yeah, yeah, where they have like where, a, lane, where they a have line, a, a, a line. Exact, an assembly line. Uh, an assembly line, And exactly. there's probably usually a large amount of, of people Hispanic. and they're usually working elbow to elbow. And they're usually Hispanic. Right next to each other, they're usually Hispanic. So that's where he wants to go ahead and put the blame just on the Hispanic community. So I don't know about to, you, but I think that's ridiculous. To send people to work, uh, make them essential workers, and then on top of that, blame them. And then for blame me. them for the whole resurgence when the numbers were going down when they were working already because they were essential. You know who else tried down. to blame a lot of things on minorities when uh, things weren't going right? Hitler. Franny. Hitler. Hitler. Hitler should blame Hitler, everybody. I'm just saying, but, you know. Speaking, Speaking of, of Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> Once again, I, got, I, I have to put this uh, disclaimer up. We are not a political podcast. Okay. But uh, we're just going to get into in, a little bit what about. Did they say that little public announcement? Like, the opinions of this matter. And, like, was in effect. We got to do that. I mean, like, with the, the opinions and thoughts and, and yeah. sayings that said by the three people yeah. on this podcast are not reflective on trap pod as an organization because <laughs> we can easily fire just... any one of us at any time no so trump and we're going to get a little bit of because you were talking about stupid people and you know blaming hispanics and shit for but trump is 
crazy because we're talking about the corona. He actually held a rally. Now, did you yeah. see this? It was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And he was talking big game about Israel. Oh, the and number it, of people that were going to show. What was the number? What was the? the, the, the I got the numbers. The, the, I got the numbers. Let's okay. Speak. So Trump speak. rally. Trump had a huge rally, or, or he thought was going to be a huge a rally. Huge turnout. Okay. It was in Tulsa, oh. Oklahoma. The arena held up to eighteen, between eighteen and nineteen thousand people. Okay, that's what that's what it held. Okay. The numbers came in that only six thousand people ended up show, showing up. So 6,000 people showed up. So it was maybe a little less than half, right? Because 6 to 6 is 12. So you know what I mean? Not only that. The whole top nobody deck was, was empty, dude. Yeah, nobody was wearing masks. Um, but there was a They lot were of, giving out, though. They were giving out they masks. They were giving out, but, but they, they weren't, weren't required wearing, to use them. They were not wearing them. Now, once again, Trump came back. And uh, one, of the, one of the things he said during his speech was he brought up the Kung Flu. Yeah. So he's bringing up the kung flu again. You know what I mean? Blaming it, blaming it uh, squarely again on 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 the whole Asian situation, which is you know in this day and age isn't good. But one of the biggest things that he said that I want to ask you guys about was this. Okay, and you were talking about the testing. He was like, "Look, if we do more testing, we're obviously going to have more cases." So he's like, "I t told my people, slow down the testing, slow the testing down, and we won't have any more cases." <laughs> That's your we won't have any up. more cases on record, but that doesn't mean we're not going to have any more cases, period. We're going to have even probably more. This is because literally... People, gonna, people don't give a fuck right now when the numbers are high. Imagine if the numbers are low and people thought things were actually normal. Oh, shit. We'll take ourselves out. It'd Apocalypse. Be, no shit. No Apocalyptic. shit. Apocalyptic. You know I mean, like, this guy is, like, leading us, like, but blindly. I, I, and let's go back. Let's, let's, let's roll back a little bit. It's funny because we're talking about disclaimers. And when you mentioned disclaimers, <laughs> speaking of disclaimers, Donald Trump had his own fucking disclaimer when it came to the rally as well. That's true. If you went to the rally, you had to sign a, a waiver saying that if you if ended you up getting corona, catch you corona, can't sue him. You can't sue him or anybody Damn, that's really, that has man. to do with the whole... No what cap. is rally? He's Anybody associated with his rally cannot be no sued cap. over Corona, hey. any kind of Corona allegation. That's cool. So your that's pretty fucking shady off the top. If, if he's, why the, would you even show up? <laughs> if minute, you have yeah. to sign anything, if you, you have to sign your, your life away and anything, I'm fuck. I'm good. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm good, fam. Not I'm at all. Now, what it I'm is, out. what it is that I hope he does sign off on is he was asked about a stimulus check. Yes. And they asked him, they say, hey, you know what? People can't live off of $1,200, what you guys sent us for like two or three months, because this has yeah. been going on for and a he while. Confirmed. And he and confirmed. And he confirmed. He said, I have a huge stimulus package coming through. And they asked him, how much are you going to be sending? Huge. huge. And he said, I don't know. <laughs> no, he basically said, you just have to wait. Yeah. So the question is, and my question is, how big do you think the stimulus check is going to be? Let's take a guess. And then once it comes well, out, we'll like, figure out who actually came the closest. What do you well, think? From, what we're, from last week. Um, I guess the highest that they want to do is two thousand. It depends if you have child support. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> how many children you have? If the more two if, grand, so they're they're capping at a six. Okay, so you're so you're they're you're capping in a household. They're capping. So at we're 6, talking 000. about single off the bat, basic single person, no children, two whatever. Gs. It's two, two G's. G's. Yes. Off the bat, so maxing out at six. Yeah. If you have kids, that's yeah. kind of widespread right there. So we'll say let's give more of a specific number. What do you think? We'll, you say two thousand. We'll stick with two thousand. What do you think the numbers? I'm gonna say gonna they're gonna shoot you fourteen. Fourteen hundred. He said it was gonna be more than the previous one, which so, yeah, the previous which one was 14. sixteen. Well, sixteen, right? Or fourteen? No, the last one was twelve hundred. Yes or no? Let me get it. How much did you get? I don't even remember. Oh, damn, you balling! I didn't get Shut anything. Shut the so fuck! Oh, I, I, I'm balling, but you didn't. You didn't you're way above the tax bracket. Oh, you're balling! No, I didn't do my I taxes. I didn't do my taxes. You have to do your taxes Gosh. in order to do it. Yeah, you oh, had to. You had to do this shit. Hey, way to save yourself. Disclaimer, way to disclaimer. save yourself. Franny does his taxes. <laughs> this camera, this famer. I mean, don't, I don't, don't see this. Don't see this. Don't see this. Your fat ass. Okay, well, you say it's twelve. I could have sworn it was like fourteen. I'll say eighteen hundred. You're saying eighteen? All right. Eighteen. All right. I got. I got the two. Fuck it. Eighteen flat. I know I'm gonna be wrong, but whatever. Fourteen. Fourteen. I told 14 you. Fourteen and eighteen. And we'll all agree the max is six, depending if you have a lot of baby kids. Yeah. So if you dashiki so out here, sorry, dashiki. Only half your kids gonna be counted. Are, are we betting anything here? Are you the, the, my whole, the whole daddy? stimulus check? Because I, I know I'm not getting this, so I don't got nothing to lose. <laughs> 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 so uh, so uh, we're taking that shit. I don't think I can't. What are you talking about? I'm not going to get it no either. Yeah, I'm, take, not, you know, I'm not hey, going to get it either. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm above change, that tax I'm bracket, dog. What the fuck? Is it a chain snatching? I'm a, a check. Hey. hey, no, no. Hey, before we forget, though, did you guys see that that uh, situation with DL Hughley? He was on oh, stage, yeah. the, the, the yeah, comedian. He was on dude. stage, like on live. You know, I what thought mean, he dude? was just high. 
Yeah. And then he started to break down and shit. They were I was like, like is it drunk or so something like that? Out. No, he yeah. like passed out on stage. Yeah. Like this guy comes out and like catches him. I was like, is this fool going full Cat Williams on us, dog? No, the crazy thing is happened like a few days ago and I saw it. And then just today, you told me it was Corona. Yeah, it was yeah, Rona. Is that true? Yeah. So all those people have to go get tested too because yeah, you, you got, could, well, at least the front row. And, uh, it depends how far no, the stage you're right, is. you're right. Everybody yeah. in that whole thing has got to yeah. get quarantined. Real quick though, one thing that I did see, a quick report that I saw is that now it's affecting a younger demographic. So before it was affecting older demographic yeah. people that need yes. ventilate. He's, there they were saying that now it's increase. between 19 and 40. And it's not necessarily affecting them where you need a ventilator, but you need but more you're catching it. just regular. So they're saying the ERs aren't uh, overridden, but just regular hospital beds are. You know well, because I mean? of that, they're also they're also holding off on surgeries at, just to make room for initial uh, a spike in hospitalizations Damn. when it comes to the younger crowd also because they're not sure how they're going to react to it. So your circumcision got pushed back? Yeah. Yeah, you remember I was, when I Al was Bundy, hoping at the end of the week I was German helmet out, but you remember when Al I Bundy went on Married with Children? He went in for something and then he ended up getting a circumcision. That, that reminds me of Nip Tuck. You seen that that show Nip Tuck yeah, when the kid wanted to circumcise himself, so he went into the bathroom and stayed one snip, seen all that blood in his hand and passed out. Passed out. Yeah. Why would you do that when your dad's a surgeon? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. tremendo lío. Yo, we back. <laughs> What's Gucci? Huh? What's Gucci? <laughs> Pass Gucci. <laughs> huh? What's Gucci? <laughs> Huh? So we got Mr. Lemon. Damn, Lemon is uh, he's the the Lemon name is pretty famous around these parts. Huh? The we, lime. We do we do a lot of talking about these guys. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. They're these guys. famous. Look at him. He's over there, all sophisticated. He, like he's coming off a bender. Leg so we're not gonna <laughs> <laughs> he's coming off a Dustin bender. Dolan bender. You know yeah. what I mean? Which, he's coming which, off of a Futurama. Which I bender. almost fell into. If I would have if I would have answered those phone calls on Friday night, I would have definitely fell into that bender for sure. But, oh yeah, you know what I mean? this fool was hitting you up. Yeah, no, Josh. See, Josh. He's like, I know he was calling when me I, when I don't <laughs> when I don't like return text. But then I showed him how I don't return text from my mom either. So I'm like, don't feel bad. You know what I mean? Don't it's, feel it's, bad. Yeah, it's not, All the special ones get ignored. It's in nothing my life. in particular. <laughs> All the good ones get ignored in my life. You're good. Uh, it's kind of like I feel like I put myself in, in my own personal rehab and I just don't answer text to nobody. And that's my only way I can stay away from drugs. So I mean, it's my personal man cave. Away from drugs. Whoa, so I would figure that you would be in a personal Too rehab just doing like a shit load of more drugs. So we're getting into TMZ and I don't know, this doesn't sound very TMZ-ish because uh, Jair wants to lead off with a bunch of killing yeah. in, in Chicago. About Sh- Chirac off. is back. How'd you guys do this? Yeah, no. Right. So, so go ahead, Jair. Yo, Mike, let Jay, us know. Beat. Yeah. Put a, put a damper on, on the proceedings. Chirac and Father's Day. Yeah. So in Chirac, Chicago, guys. 14 killed, 102 shot in violent Father's Day weekend in Chicago. Ooh, back to normal. Yeah. No, that's the highest. So here goes. Story goes. 14 people, including the five children, were killed as more than 100 people were shot in a wave of gunfire in Chicago over the Father's Day's, week, uh, Father Day's weekend. Uh, that produced the city's highest number of shooting victims in a single weekend this year. Um, <laughs> there was a three-year-old that got shot, like, just because, like, yeah. Well, it's, it Cross, was supposed to be for, Yeah, it was crossfire. It's supposed to be for his dad, but his fucking stray bullet. Yeah, boom. and then his pop didn't want to like you know they're giving ten thousand dollars so like for anyone that has information. His pops didn't give out any information. Um, he's like fuck that real one. And then Snitches. there's a thirteen year old, a seventeen year old, and a sixteen year old, and all these were just bystanders, just like because of the shootings got shot. So and this was up. all just this past weekend. Uh, Father's Day weekend, yeah. That was a lot of angry ass kids, a lot of fatherless people. That Is that what you think? At. Yeah. I, I think that had to be something to do with it. Why Father's Day? Out of all days, why did that sign on Father's Day? Hey, never mind. You? I can't say what I'm saying. <laughs> why do you think? Any, any, any other opinions? Every, yeah. I just no. think there's probably a lot of a lot lonely, of, uh, angry A lot of people who can, couldn't afford uh, who were pissed therapy. off. And either they were trying to go after their biological fathers that weren't there. And just letting out some steam and going after some neighborhood and amigas. Just, just releasing some stress in the hood. Some stress in the hood. Is that how it goes down in Chirac? Dad was there for me. Oh, my goodness. Well, so so we got a lot of violence going on on there, right? Too deep for the intro. Too deep. Now, another crazy situation went down out here in uh, in Orange County, which OC. if you guys have been to Orange County, it's one of the most racist places in Los Angeles. Shout out to Joey. Uh, Orange County is so... <laughs> okay. So, 
<laughs> on that Shout note, out to my boy Joey out there. On that note, um, if you guys didn't know, there was a uh, 18 year old security guard who was killed in the city of Gardena. Yeah, and what happened pretty much it was that the sheriff shot 18 year old Latino while on on so no job one's securing the security guard. Hmm. Exactly, and it says family members say the that the LA is. Sheriff's Department destroyed camera surveillance before the family arrived. And there's footage, uh, or not actual footage, like or pictures of all the cameras in that particular area, like being like battered and They're knocked smashed down. Smashed in, yeah. And what do you call the the DVR or, or wherever the everything stored? Like supposedly the yeah, cops DVR. went in there and, yeah. and like took all that information. And in that there. was actually told by I think the the, the store manager or the, the manager, store manager or the manager of the fucking property, whatever. So the uh, young man's name is his name is Andres Guardado. And uh, which brought up, you know, I mean, he's only 18 years old, 18 years old. He was supposedly a security guard at that particular place. And the cop showed up and shot him. uh, He was actively working. And there's a lot there's a lot of protests been going on 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 that. But it brought me to thinking because there's been this whole Black Lives Matters movement and everything. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, I feel like black, brown, it doesn't really matter as long as you're not white. No, still kind of it's us versus them. You know, first, first and foremost, you know, rest in peace to him. There was some shady shit going on when it came to the cops. But yeah, like Fran was saying, there's a we have a lot more in common than you think. Uh, for those Break that think down, that you know Black Lives Matter isn't a movement that is for us as far as Hispanics, it is because when they pass a law, the law doesn't state blacks only are affected by this law. When the law is passed, it, it's passed for all of us, so all we all benefit already. for it. So, but also not besides that. Uh, Africa has a, a lot of roots when it comes to Mexico alone. As and I'm gonna speak as um, more Mexican history more than any other uh, Hispanic culture because I am Mexican and I'm not anything else. So that's I what thought we you were Salvi, but go ahead. But that <laughs> 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 ha. Ha. Hey, Mina. Hey, can you grab that for me right there, Mina? You know what I mean? Grab that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but honestly, uh, we're not so different. And I'm gonna give you some a uh, couple facts that. Us as common his, um, Hispanics or Mexicans and, and talk about it, me didn't really know about it. So and um, after eight, about my food. so basically after 1845, fugitive slaves basically fled the United States and went to Mexico. When the U.S. basically found out that these slaves were you know fleeing and going to Mexico, they basically went up to Mexico and asked them to um, basically sign a fugitive a fugitive slave treaty. Mexico obviously denied. They refused, and they said any slave that makes their way to Mexico is now considered to be a a free person. Okay. So that's something that um, you guys don't know about, that we actually, you know, we've always stuck by them as far as slavery from the beginning. We're an anti-slavery country from the beginning. Vicente Guerrero was one general who led Mexicans in the Mexican, um, in the revolution against Spain. He He later became the first black president in Mexico in 1829, and he formally abolished any kind of or any form of slavery in Mexico. So Mexico had a black president. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. He's probably what isn't actually came from Africa or whatever, but he was probably of African de- descent, Afro-Americano, but more he- heavily uh, black influence, perhaps. You know, Africans played a major role, and when it comes to independence, Mexico's independence from Spain, about 30 to 40 percent of all troops um, that fought for Mexico were actually Afro. Mexicanos. Really? Yes. No way. So, for those of you that are out there thinking, you know, you uh, fuck blacks, whatever, whatever, when it comes to Hispanic or, oh, you know, whoa. blacks, by, by, vice versa, you know, think twice. Once you start knowing about the, you know, when racism and anger is always Educate a sign yourself. of uneducation, you know, not being educated. Once you become educated and you start knowing about people, you start to, I hate tends to come down. A little bit, so almost oh, definitely, you have to be well. You know, don't be ignorant on the situation. We're not that different. Like they got, hey, we're they weren't the only ones getting hung too. A lot of fucking. I'm definitely not uh, different because you want to know why Chicanos I'm were getting hung, hung just like blacks. Too. Ah! Oh, sorry, and I have bad credit, so we have a lot of things. We in have common. a lot of things in common. Yikes! And I don't <laughs> speak to my children. <laughs> uh, you know what was also <laughs> extremely fucked up. Was that kid in uh, Baltimore who was? Uh, <laughs> you were gonna trust you. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying he to yeah, get out of that one clean. Yeah, yeah. He had to, hey, like, but he he tea, snuck like, his yeah. way into them. He was like, uh, <laughs> I might have to do an edit for this. Yeah, uh, on Jair other has news, the information regarding no. the Baltimore situation no. and uh, <laughs> uh, what happened there, Dyer? No, not what you said. I'll tell you that. <laughs> nah, I could take that. Basically, uh, so uh, this. Mom and child basically went to a restaurant. I forgot the name of the restaurant. 
they try to go in and they were basically denied Let's access not because of the color of their skin or the mother wasn't denied but the child the himself Jones? was probably like a first grader um oh, was actually denied entrance because of he was wearing athletic wear because they had a dress wear co uh, like a dress policy you know what i mean but the kid was like but the that, kid the yeah. kid was he was obviously under the age of 13 he wasn't a teen he was probably in first grade he was probably 10 tops he was like nine years old he had a jordan shirt he had some sneakers and some basketball shorts so yeah, i'm not gonna lie though if i go to a nice place i don't want to see any kids in there but you know what I mean? Okay. I'm playing a lot of money, but the big thing to, to you know what that's I mean not for the my drinks look, and my shit. I the, don't want to. I don't. I like, get it, and that's a hundred. I agree with you on that, but that wasn't the nah, reason why she was that. upset. The reason why she was upset, she yeah. kept repeating, and they kept avoiding the question or acting stupid. Well, she wasn't. I, I don't give a shit about a dress code. She's like, yeah. why is my kid getting denied entrance? And she basically shows a little white kid yeah. out there See, it, it, it wearing was, the same shit. Movie. And he, it, it was his, it was his, actually it was his friend. And he was wearing basketball shorts too, athletic wear. Basically wearing the nah, same thing. The only, friend, the only difference was uh, he didn't have Jordan on his shirt. That was the only difference. So she, that was the main reason why she just was cause upset. He, like, just because like, the little kid So she more basically saying that like, you're you basically... Know? Bullshitting your way into saying like you don't want yeah, the black, mom was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. you see this fresh kid like yeah. yeah the mom went in on on them yeah he, sure. and he basically complained he was like and he kept saying like well then she was a kid telling him like didn't you see the uh the other kid though because the other kid was uh, it looked like they were leaving so already. like also fyi the restaurant released a statement after that saying that they fired that fool permanently and that they don't condone any of that and they're changing their uh their policy there's policy for kids now anything that. 13 and 13 yeah. and under does not have to follow the dress code policy right. 13 and above do. So they did kind of warp their policy a little bit. They did kick that dude exactly. out because the way he handled it was kind of stupid. I've, I've how would you how would you feel, dog, if you're going somewhere and your kid was denied entry? Uh, because I'd be he was happy because then I don't have to pay for my would, kid. I'd be like, wait, your stupid ass outside. <laughs> I told I you. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna just go get your fucking happy meal, motherfucker. I, I, I would shoot my kid $10 and be like, I, I, I'll Google it and be like, there's a fucking McDonald's Mira, like five no minutes. No querias los pinches chicken nuggets. Mira lo que pasó. I, it, I've always been kind of weary of that rule because you know what? To me, if, if you're going into a spot and you got money to pay for whatever it is, you, can, you should be able to dress however the fuck you want. That's kind of my my looking on it. You know, I, mean? I understand they're trying to uphold a certain you know aesthetic value or what have you. But, but it wasn't that. It was the fact that they already had another kid in there wearing the same shit. Like it was almost like he was bullshitting or just enforcing it on them because they were black. That's exactly what it was. And that that's the thing that she was trying to get across to their head and just like them, like you, you're not getting that. That's that, it wasn't the dress code. <laughs> it wasn't the dress code. It was the, the fact of the matter. The dress I got you. God, okay. That's on God. So it kind kind of on the same situation, you know, black and you know this whole turmoil black. going on. Black Lives oh, Matters. I want to. There's a video that came out went a little viral. So Shout one out of to Michael Jackson, one of the, <laughs> one of the uh, bad. the uh, cops he was the that fuck? held down George Floyd. I guess got it let let out on jail um, bail, bail. On, bail. on bail, and Millie. he was out like at a Walmart a or a Target Millie. somewhere, like buying like super cookies. nonchalant. And dude. this lady but comes Oreos. up to him and pretty much like puts him on blast. Is like, yo, are you the guy? And he's like, yeah. And he kind of apologizes and all that. But like, he and he says, I'm out here trying to get essentials, and that fool has like some random some item, like some some bullshit and some Oreos. Like, okay, so I guess you got to live, right? Motherfucker got to eat. No, but I mean, she does kind of go in on him, right? Like she goes in on him pretty bad, and I don't know. I guess hey, too bad he couldn't keep his cool like that while he was fucking arresting the motherfucker. That's the problem. He was that cool. That is <laughs> shit. The fuck Have he you was. Seen the video? He was just holding on. No, after like, after the fact, after the fact, all four of them motherfuckers were pretty much on him at one point. Don't forget that hey. they were. No, that's, that's, that's the whole point. Yeah, fool. So, I mean, for him to be out there nonchalant like that, you know what I mean? To me, yeah. I, and I not, can understand. And not thinking, like she said, not thinking anyone's going to recognize your ass. Like, you're fucking inter you're like you're internationally famous, pretty much, because it wasn't just the United States no more. It bled out there. That and would like, be a Karen to How do you think you're going to walk right? out in a Walmart? The craziest right. part about it is that masks are required. Like, why wouldn't you just wear, wear Oh, and he wasn't even wearing a mask. Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, this is your Do perfect chance. Do yourself a fucking service, you fucking Walk around idiot. with a bandana on. Cop that psych. Nah. Yeah. It's going to take you like six months to get it. But when you get it, it's worth it. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Like, what a douche nozzle on that one. That Ella like... es calladita. So. Not her. She told that nigga. Moving along asshole. from from this whole situation. What's up? It, talk, talk, so, talk, like. Talk about it, Queen. Would that be talk the about opposite? It, Queen. Of, that would be his Karen? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little reverse Karen. 
Right? He got yeah. carried in a way. Yeah. Oh, he totally got carried. Yeah. Because she was like, you're just so nonchalant. Yeah. Nah, that yeah. was Baron. <laughs> Baron. Baron Davis. That was Nah, that was Baron blood. <laughs> Baron blood. Uh, Quick, since we're all beaners in the house, I just want to give a quick uh, Yo, shout prayer. shout out to my beaners. No, not yeah, shout out. You're prayers a beaner out, too, fool. Prayers out Don't to... Uh, down. Shout out to Josh right he here. He looked down. He was like, oh, I'm not. There was a, there was Bumbling a big, it. There was you know, a big, nothing big, new. Nothing new. it was... <laughs> It's a big dude. earthquake. Dude, chill, dude. <laughs> chill, dude. dude. It's a big earthquake in uh, in Mexico. Yes. Seven, Oaxaca. 7.5. It was in Oaxaca. You saw mm-hmm. that? The it's video of that is nuts. Oh, where the, where, the, where the tectonic plates are, are, are separating? The That's floor? It. Yep. Or the That's floor, it. whatever? No, I saw one, one where they were like doing like a wash basin. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> it, it was moving. It was some crazy shit going down. So Yeah. You know, prayers out there. They should have some movie shit. Like it was separating. To all the fam out there. And coming back. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> Josh, I guess it. I could say, speaking of Mexico, I mean, there is Mayan history. My fam's good in out Mexico, there, though. Just they like said that it's, everything's cool, you know, because I got fam out there. You ain't going to ask me? That's cool. You don't look Oaxacan, fool. Yeah, actually, look, he does. You don't, does. You don't look short and no, dark. No, but it hit the effort, too. He's short and fat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Close enough. So yeah. you were saying. Yeah, what? so how's your family, dog? No, they, they're good. Oh, what about your family? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're not they're Salvador. They're Salvador, huh? That's right. <laughs> Damn. Mi gente yeah, es de Guadalajara, güey. Ok, pura gente güera para que veas. Y de ojos tapatíos, estúpido. Ah, hijo de su. Now that we know where your mom's from, where's your dad from? Nah. <laughs> no. no comment. <laughs> Wakanda. Nah. So, well, so, speaking of this colonization. Yeah, yeah so we're... <laughs> Getting back to before, before we, yeah, I want to go to Wakanda. Before we got off track, you know, speaking of Wakanda, uh, Mayans. That's where my dad's from, Wakanda. And uh, they have basically some history in Mexico, but they're mostly known for being in Guatemala. And the crazy thing right now is the U.S. basically wants to steal Mayan land to fund a tourist attraction. Yeah. So they're basically trying to pass a bill, and this bill would allow uh, Richard Henson to use $60 million in taxpayer money to build a, um, a Mormon theme park in the oldest Mayan land, El Mirador. Why would it be a Mormon? Because there's a lot of Mormons down there. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's about. There was a big uh, a big uh, migration. That part. Back back in the day. Yeah. Back know your history, perro. When I was yeah, a kid. Yeah. Polygamous views. Polygamous views. Yeah. So they went to Mexico. Smart. Where the, Mexico's like, fuck it, dog. Is she over 13? Ponle, way. Damn, no yeah, way. Damn, I so wish well, I missed out. Fuck. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yo, yeah, yo, yo, I just opened up. Chill, guys. So, you know, no, so the crazy that, thing about it. Not weird again. <laughs> not only. Whoa, whoa. Huh, this fool, he's a fucking sp- weirdo. He drags me in, dude. Fuck. He drags me in. Fucking drag, <laughs> fuck drags me in, dude. One of them will fuck go further. Peer another pressure. Push a little you know, bit more. Peer, you know, peer pressure is a motherfucker, dude. Fuck, you know. So the crazy thing is that not only would it become a Mormon theme park. Yeah, Mormon, right? And all things for 60 mil. But uh, residents will become employees like of the companies oper- um, uh, operating in the park instead of stockholders as they are now. His proposal will also ban their main source of income, sustainable logging. So, what do you think about that? That's fucked up. I think if I can go down there and have multiple wives, sign me up. Hey. What about the whole... Hey, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a fucking big orgy theme park. Is there, what, giving your information and kind of... Not have this bill pass, right? Is there information on there? Yeah, no? there. No, but I was gonna get into that, but I was. Oh. I wanted to get your fucking opinion on it oh, before little, you rush it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. No, well, you know, just give it twice. We'll give it twice. Make sure people listen. You know. Okay, so basically, uh, sure. there's an important thing to like, kind of pay attention to, I guess. So basically, you can call. Is what, what can you do to help? More than one. You can basically not. call or email your Congress members to oppose Bill S, as in Sam, thirty-one, thirty-one. So with all the shit going on in the world, this is the shit that you want me to fucking email my congressman about? Is some niggas fucking having multiple wives in fucking water? Well, just look for the, the land. just look for anything Taking S thirty one thirty one. Vote against it when you can. Just if not, just reach out to your people. My nigga, take the reach land. Out just to get your my boy. niggas out of ice. As long as they in Mexico, abolish ice. That's all I gotta say about that one. Damn. Yeah. Do you find ice? Do you find the police? That's where you stand. It's the son of the police. Boo. That's where I stand. No, but it's crazy, like how you can just go it's into a foreign I land. Listen. I don't listen to you. You're crazy. And just make it a theme park, <laughs> and then be like, "Hey, you know what? I will make Disneyland right here where you motherfuckers live, and by law, you motherfuckers are gonna be employees of me. Of me. Slavery. And it, yeah, it's crazy how you know shit's 
still happening like that now and that's what happened in orange county so <laughs> with a <the> shooting <laughs> no, 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 with whoa, Disneyland. whoa come on my guy anyways that's all we got that's it yeah yeah all, day. all right we'll, we'll take a little break and shit and then we'll be back with just some music little rundown of a little two three subjects a little rundown little shine shine you know, but again, you know, thank Tinder you for tuning stories. in. Yeah. And then a Josh Tinder story coming soon. We're a Josh peace. Bumble story. But we're out. The <laughs> Bumbleness. Shut up. All right, here you go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to hit the gym with Jair. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm on that guest pass. The only thing you're going to hit is those ass cheeks, nigga. 24 hours fitness guest pass shit, diggy. You know about that. About to drop bows on these bitches. Huh. <laughs> Smack and we're back, <laughs> dude. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. I'm pushing 185 right now. Six two 185. Damn. Bony yeah, ass, mom. ass motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, the yeah. only person that called me Bony was your mama. Anyways, damn. That's still not a compliment, fool. <laughs> From her, it is. No, it's not. You Bony, fool. Oh, but that's why I'm gonna go to uh, guest pass. Papasote, da watch. Watch me, papasote. <laughs> Wash me twerk. The only papa sote you yeah, got, homie, is the, your papa sote at night for the smashes dog, on you, fool. Dog, Shut up. Your titties are laying on your belly. So like, that's where they rest on, dog. You know what I mean? If not, they'd go lower. I'm just hey, saying, dog. You know what I mean? They got a support shit. system. Hey, I told you, dog. When they say get a support that corn, system, they, that's, what, that's not what they was talking about. You know what I mean? Well, obviously, I don't have a support system, nigga, because if so I did, my titties wouldn't be that low. Anyways. So, what's up, Jay? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We are back. Hey, what's up, guys? What's you up? Going, I, he's like just mad. Bucks. He's just mad, fool, because that fool ain't got no kind of ass for him. Yeah. I said, look at that. Yeah, I'm mad because I'm looking like a whole snack, nigga. Look at me. <laughs> a <laughs> snack, <laughs> nigga? A, with like no a, ass like that, bitch is going to starve. Hey, what do you bitches? mean a snack, homie? <laughs> what are they doing? Eating my ass? <laughs> you mean fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, hey, what, what, hey, what's hey, important hey, in the front? Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, and that's hey. a little mini snicker. Hey, as as mini? I <laughs> was a mini? <laughs> it got the veins on it. They got like a vein on it. Though. Hey, a Whoa. fat one. A fat vein. Like the one you get on fucking Halloween, the little yeah, mini snicker. It just got one thick. And, and you think about it. So you didn't one bite or the whole thing? Yeah. You just throw the whole thing in there? <laughs> that's Friday cheese for you. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty cheesy. In a <laughs> so you're, telling me, you're, so you're telling me she can never foreplay with you, right? She just goes all the way. Dog, I can't even add up to four. You can only get two with me. <laughs> <laughs> you getting two, and uh-huh. that's it. Yeah, I mean two inches. <laughs> That's it, brother. That's hey, they're, all, they're all pissed off and shit, and you're two just like, you're, hey, you're they, like, they, hey, you're I, like, I got my the two night. solid ones. <laughs> I'm off no, there. for sure. Oh uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> two pump jump. You know what I mean? two we got, jump. we got this shit cracking. Yeah, uh, the one thing I can say of you for sure, you learned your lesson the first time. Facts. So, so they say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pro choice. I see. <laughs> Have you heard the saying uh, "Me encanta la mala vida"? Masoquista. <laughs> hey, that song from fucking Nicky Jam. And yeah, Nicky, Nicky, Nicky Jam. Speaking of jams, what's up? Let's get into it. You Let's guys, get into you guys, it. You guys got any new hey, music? Hey, actually, tell me about this fucking Jay Prince shit you were wanting to talk about. Real quick, because. Again. We'll do, we'll do a, a NBA young boy versus Jay Prince. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if we talked about it last week, but it happened. A who is weeks. Jay Prince? First of all. Okay. Wait, for those wait. who don't know. So for those who don't know, Jay Prince is an underground figure from Houston. Okay? H town. If you guys don't even Stupid. know, um, even Drake, Drake is assigned technically to, to Jay Prince. You know what I mean? If you, if you guys have learned to some of Drake's lyrics, he's like, uh, I'm a Jay Prince investment, right? There's that one song. Yeah. So yeah. anyways, they uh, go way back in the day, rap a lot, all kinds of days. So Jay Prince is just a big underground figure that, you know what I mean, handles shit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't mess around Jay Prince, especially in Houston. And that's just not be- because I'm from Houston, but just... So you know he I mean? pushes weight. Yeah, he's yeah. from Houston. Ah, so let's, let's fast forward real quick <laughs> to, um, to NBA Youngboy. He, uh, he was out in Houston, and he, if you guys don't remember seeing the videos, they broke into his house. And the guys who broke into his house that he was renting took, like, the keys to the yeah. cars. They didn't take the cars, but they took yeah. the keys, right? They like took dumb the keys asses. and the umbrella. And just dumb shit, and they, they jacked them. So Basically just flexing that they could do it if So Jay to. Prince put out the word, okay? And if you guys remember, he did the same thing with YBN Youngboy. Remember when YBN and those fools got jacked for their chain? Oh, yeah. Jay Prince put out the word, and they got like I said, if, if you, don't, you, you don't fuck around in H-Town when it comes to So they came, and they returned all the stuff. So Jay Prince put out a video with the young cats and pretty much in the video he was saying hey NBA young boy these cats are they fucked up pretty much you know what i mean they're trying to make it right 
here are the keys to your car. Here's all the stuff. They yeah. want to return everything back to you that they took. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> NBA's <laughs> young boy came back with, bitch ass. <laughs> I, I took a fucking picture in that car the same fucking day, bitch ass, hoe ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So what the fuck? He's uh, this car come with two keys anyways, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> car come with two keys anyways. Car come with two keys anyway, bitch. You know what I mean? Oh, so my. shout out, I love that motherfucker. That was and tight, and it's funny because me and Drew were talking about it, and it's true, like. And once again, I'm not one to talk shit about Jay Prince, but why go on social media, social media and do it that way? And that's kind of what NBA one young boy was saying, like, dude, if you, you know my number, you, you know how to contact me. If that's how you wanted to do it, then hit me up. But why go on social media and, and, and put and it out there make like a fool of And man. it was crazy for a 17 year old, you know, or 18 year old NBA young boy to kind of school Jay Prince, an, a vet in this shit. But he, he had a, he definitely had a point. Right, he definitely had a point on there. So yeah, I, I, for sure. Like it's so I who's mean, why, still I mean, it, like you call that clout chasing, right? Like technically, for right? sure. And it's just for like sure. I guess. I mean, unless he's trying to sign him or do something with him, but that's like that's so how he like, was NBA who young stole boy is such NBA. Like, a little real fool. Like you know what I mean? Like, so he stole young boy shit. It was Jay that, Prince. No, no Jay no. Prince he, is he is a man me. in the street, but he put the word out and he made these motherfuckers come back and return the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, which he's done before. Like I said, yeah, he's done okay. before. I just want to make sure I just started right. But but like 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 Jair's saying, it, even if he was trying to sign him or whatever, hey, you just kind of fucked up your your chance because yeah. you know what I mean you could have done it on the real on the backside. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. So, and it, it just surprised me cuz like I said Jay Prince is not that type of person, but hey, sometimes players fucked hey, up maybe, too, right? Maybe, hey, you may, fucked may, up. Maybe maybe it's just changed too though. Change. Irrelevancy. Like True. that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like for a long time, like why now? Like, you know because what I'm saying? Like why now out of like even with the push a T thing when he came through with the push a T thing, you know what right? I'm saying? Like why now? Like why is like it trying to hang on to stuff? Yeah, right? yeah. everybody, you every dog stay, has his day. And I'm not saying anything. Like, but I'm he just wants to hold on to that rap. People, he wants to hold on. To, he probably feels like he's losing really grip on that rap. I don't condone so anything. He wants that to hold on to it, so he's doing say, it. Because I gotta travel to Houston. All right. <laughs> so that's the whole thing with that. No. Oh, exactly. You're not from Next Houston. Stop it. Stop it. Boob tube. What do you guys have for boob tube? From Panorama City. Boob tube. All right. What you got in boob tube? You got your shit. Uh, thirteen reasons why. Season four is out. Check it out. What's it about uh, again? I can't give you thirteen season, reasons actually, why not to watch. It's uh, it's it. Honestly, this season is totally. totally if you watch it from the <laughs> first season Which now no until now, it's not even what it started out. To what be. is it? It was uh, it, it has to do with basically a, a murder, murder. So it's a murder mystery kind of thing. Can you just can we uh, spoil like, alerts or not? Is it good for reals or are you just not like that? No, it's good. It's good. What is it on? What is it on? Oh, HBO it's Sling? On, it's on it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. 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 Chill, 13 reasons chill, why. 13 chill. reasons why. And there was a uh what was the other one I was saying again? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Mystery Iglesias. So Ooh. for those of you that like uh Gabriel Iglesias, uh comedy stand up type shit. Fran's not a fan of him. If you are, check it out. I think he has two he's that seasons. Fat, fluffy guy. Oh, yeah, Mr. Fluffy. Mr. Fluffy. fluffy. Yeah. Like yeah, he's whack, huh? Well, if you like him, check him out. I think he has two seasons nah, on Netflix this also. Nah. <laughs> this is two out of nah, one. Nah, nah. If HL says that? it's funny, check it out. You know what I mean? I'm just saying it's out. <laughs> I'm just saying it's out. I didn't say it was funny. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Like, hey, check it out. I don't know shit. I'm just trying to add material to this motherfucking list, dog, all right? I can tell you what not. I said it was out. So check it out. I can tell you what not to check out. And fucking Jair put on Joe Coy. That shit. And what was that on Netflix? Don't watch that shit. Yeah. Unless you're Filipino. So Tree, check that shit out. You know? T and Tree. Anything Joe Coy's just like. That shit was garbage. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, and ironically, Joe Coy actually comes on the episode of Mr. Iglesias. So there you go. There More you go. another reason not to there watch. You <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just have to throw it out there. Like I said, I'm just so, trying to bring some motherfucking material. On I have the Flash. Fuckers, That's all, all I'm watching. watching. Yeah, don't watch the Flash. The Flash either. is like ten years the old. Jair's just watching his fucking sex life. Yeah. The Flash. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow. Take it back. No. Wow. I'll show you nothing. <laughs> Take it back. Anyway. Anything else? Other than that, uh, other than this, um, anything else? On, disappointment. On <laughs> disappointment. Episode sixty-two. Two sixty-two. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna share some music that I have. Oh um, God. Tempo Nikki Jam. Nah. Masokista. I think I said that. Nikki 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 Jam. Check that out. Um, Pink Sweats dropped the track right after we finished the pod last week. It's called uh, "Not All, Not All Right." That one's good. Mm-hmm. C S C S Armstrong dropped "Strange Fool" 2020, 
And then Omar Rodriguez Lopez, he dropped a cool album, um, The Clouds Hills Tapes 1. Oh uh, Mayhem Lauren and Harry Styles dropped a collab album, Last 2.0. Really, really good. Um, I love Harry um, Styles. I, love I have Harry one Styles. actually. Los Angeles Azules. I sent that to you. Nunca es suficiente. I think it's featuring Los Natalia La Forcade. She's dope. La Natalia La Forcade. Check her out. But yeah. All right. We'll check that out. Um, Wale dropped as well. Oh, then Wale will fuck your bitch oh, every time. <laughs> I'll fuck Wale. Uh, John Legend dropped Bigger Love. <laughs> Um, Tiana Taylor, <laughs> the album. A Boogie with the Hoodie dropped the Deluxe Edition. Boogie with the Hoodie. 42 Doug, Young and Turnt 2, Deluxe. Uh, Dalex, that's a Spanish uh, reggaeton guy. Dalex. It's 3 a.m. It's, it's Spanish, an EP. Deluxe. Uh, what else I got? Justin Sky. Justin and then what Sky. Else? Yeah, that's all I got for now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, Spring Break. So A1 Bentley changed his name from A1 Bentley to uh, Spring Break. <laughs> and spring and now break. then he dropped a single called Memo. And other than that, Memo. that's all I got. I like that name a lot better, right? A Spring Break. Which one, no, yeah, got. Spring Break than A One Bentley, right? Yeah. Spring Break's a lot yeah, better. I agree. I think he's going with with the uh, with the weekend and the party next door type of situation, right? Yeah. Something right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that. That would be a, a squad the, that would even, headline. They'd be like the weekend, even the party sound. next well, door, smart and Spring Break. Oh, that's what I was playing. No, in the the reason of why it. it's smart because it associates your brain associates that name with happiness. So off the bat, you're going to be like, oh, shit, you know? If All Off right, of that premise, then I'd hey. be the next rapper named Cocaine. <laughs> hey, you this could be never if you're good. Co- <laughs> I'm pretty sure there has been. Not a fire, has there? Not a fire. Not, we don't know about well, that. You don't have fire either, fool, so I guess we have to wait. Well, well I'm not named that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> All right, that's it for this week's episode. <laughs> Shout out to Tijeras for being here. Oh no, in spirit. <laughs> in spirit. No, because like I looked at him. That's why I'm I sure. I just saw the head. I was right That's over him, sure. getting him scared. Oh <laughs> damn! Yeah. If you guys don't know, highlighter scared at the head. Extremely. But we'll talk about that next week. <laughs> but yeah. thanks for listening. Uh, sign, uh, uh, subscribe, uh, like, and all that good stuff, please. Yeah, thank we'll you see you guys for next week. Checking in. Bye. Peace. Underscore ish. I love you. We all love you. <laughs>